cheese, sausage, smoke, barbecue sauce, and barbecue rub? Is there anything better? Cheesy meat appetizers are that good? They should be illegal. Mm. I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make cheesy meat appetizers. That'll be a hit at your next barbecue. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Cheesy meat appetizers need meat, and I decided sausage mince was going to work best. So I slipped into Gippsland Premium Meats, and Mick recommended these tomato and onion meat tubes. And the only prep needed for these sausages is we just need to remove all the meat from the casings. But don't mix them up though. You'll see why we don't mix them up a bit later. Cheese is up next, and I'm using these cheesy peelers. Or for those of you playing at home, cheese like substance sticks. Cut them in half using a semi-sharp knife and just place them aside. If you can't find cheese sticks, make your own. Get your favorite block of cheese and slice it up. It's time to make our appetizers up. We're just gonna grab half the meat from one of the sausages and just spread it out a little in your hand and give it a light dusting with a barbecue rub. And I'm using Elk Creek All Purpose Rub today. Now just add a cheese stick and we're gonna form the meat around it. We want it all covered to stop cheese leakage. Now just place them on a baking paper lined tray. And then just give them all a good sprinkle of the barbecue rub. The good thing about this recipe is the heat comes from the rub, the sausages, or the soon to be made glaze we've got to make. So go nuts, use your favorite. Now to make some glazing sauce. Into a saucepan, you want to put about a half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. And today I'm using this meat graffiti, raspberry and maple barbecue sauce. And because I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm adding about a tablespoon of hot sauce. And today I'm using Mama Melise. We'll quickly heat the glaze up just before we apply it near the end of the cook. Today, I'm using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm pairing it up with one charcoal basket because I wanna be cooking in the range of 150 to 170 degrees Celsius. How I'll do that is by filling the charcoal basket with unlit briquettes and dumping that in the chimney starter. I'll then light them up and once they're fully ashed over, I'll chuck charcoal basket to one side of the charcoal grate and I'll dump the fuel into it. And I'll add one chunk of cherry wood from the legends out at Slow Burn Smoking Wood Supplies. Then carefully put the grill in place. I'll pop the lid on, opening all the vents, and I'm gonna let that warm up for 10 minutes. Did you know that pie charts are circular in shape and have no bearing on this cook? It's time to put the cheesy meat appetizers into the Weber. Just place them on the opposite side of the lit fuel. Place the lid back on, making sure that lid vents over our food, drawing the heat and smoke over it. Now I'll carefully check the internal temp of these around the 30 minute mark. When I say carefully, I mean it. I'm going to use an instant read thermometer and I don't want to pierce right through to where that cheese is or we're going to have cheese leakage. What we're aiming for is an internal temp of 74 degrees Celsius. That way we know we won't die when we eat them. Today I'm cooking with a medium to high temp of 150 to 170 degrees Celsius. And all up, this cook's gonna take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes to be reading 74 degrees Celsius internally. Or for those of you who love to use my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Cheers. I'll always use an instant read thermometer to check the internal temp of my food because I've tried using my finger, but it's not that accurate. The cheesy meat appetizers are nearly ready. They're reading 72 degrees Celsius, so we can get them out of the barbecue and glaze them up. Oh no, man down, we've had some leakage. But don't we all from time to time? It's time to sauce them up. Just transfer them one at a time into the sauce, a quick roll around, and back on the tray. And then you can go back in the barbecue for five minutes just to tack up. Try and do the glazing part as quick as you can just so the internal temp doesn't drop too much. They're done. Get these cheesy sticky meat pleasers out of the barbecue and prepare to make funny sounds while enjoying them. Look at that cheesy goodness that deserves to be in your mouth. By glazing these before they reach temp, they won't dry out and they'll stay Juicy! Oh, hello arteries, we have a friend. 